Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about QuickBooks Online and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you link or connect your bank account to your QuickBooks Online? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna link or connect your bank account to your QuickBooks Online? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running a business, you know that it's a lot of work to keep up with all the different transactions and costs and invoicing. And by connecting your bank, it can help automate those transactions into your QuickBooks. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my QuickBooks account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you wanna link or connect your bank account, what you're gonna do is click on menu here on the left. Once you click on menu, it's gonna open up and you wanna click on this button here, transaction, and then next click on bank transactions. All right, once you do that, you're gonna see this option right here to connect account. Go ahead and click on this green button. Okay, so when you are connecting your bank account to QuickBooks, it's pretty easy. What you're gonna do is just find your bank and then you're gonna log into your bank and it'll automatically set up a connection between QuickBooks and your bank. That way you can easily download your transaction. So for me, I bank with Chase, so I'm gonna go ahead and just look for Chase and then click on there. Okay, next they're gonna ask me to go ahead and sign in to my account, so I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, next Chase opens up a login screen, so you need to enter in your username and your password. No matter which bank you work with, it's going to be similar. It might be a little bit different, but basically you need to log in and authorize QuickBooks to download these transactions. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this information in off screen. Okay, I went ahead and entered in my login information. I'm gonna click sign in. Okay, next Chase gives me this warning that I'm gonna be connecting my bank to Intuit, which is the data process, and they're gonna be sharing that information with QuickBooks. So if you're okay with that, just scroll down and then click on next. Okay, next they let me know that QuickBooks will get all of this information by sharing that data. If you're okay with that, click on next. Next, you wanna go ahead and choose which accounts you want to share your data with. If you have multiple accounts like I do, you'll just wanna check the box. Okay, so once you've chosen the accounts that you wanna to connect to your QuickBooks account, click on next here at the bottom. All right, once again, Chase lets me know the information that will be shared with QuickBooks, so be sure to read through that. If you're okay with it, scroll to the bottom. Once you scroll to the bottom, you wanna click on connect my accounts. Okay, next QuickBooks will ask you if you wanna go ahead and connect this account, so you just click on the account right here. Once you click on the account, you wanna go ahead and choose the account type. So this is cash and equivalent. Okay, next you wanna go ahead and choose how far back you want QuickBooks to pull the data. So you can drop this menu down and then you can click on custom and then you can go ahead and change how far back you want them to go. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go back until the beginning of this month and then you wanna click on connect. Okay, now it's processing. Okay, next I get this pop-up saying that my bank account is now connected to my QuickBooks. So I'm gonna click on done. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see my Chase Bank is now linked and connected to my QuickBooks. So that way, anytime there's new transactions, it's gonna pull and be added directly into my QuickBooks. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to link or connect your bank account to your QuickBooks, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.